What's going on, people? I just want to chime in on this lover's triangle with Kevin Hart. Uh, Kevin Hart apologized to his wife for cheating. And there's a lot of people that's going in on Kevin Hart. Uh, there's a lot of dudes that are saying that Kevin Hart should not have apologized. Uh, because according to TMZ, you really couldn't tell that was Kevin Hart. But when I saw the video, you could clearly tell that was Kevin Hart. But I take the side of Kevin Hart. I think Kevin Hart did the right thing. Now, there's people that's blaming back and forth. But one thing you have to consider. There are no victims in this case. Now, I know that there's a lot of females that's taken side with Kevin Hart's wife, that poor woman. And I'm sure that there's a lot of them that's hoping that she will take him to the cleaners. Kevin Hart apologized by him doing that. He took the power out of his blackmailers his extortionist hands. She had no power. Now, again, there are no victims in this because if you think back, Kevin Hart's current wife is a woman he cheated with on his former wife. So she knew what she was getting from the very beginning. Kevin Hart is a wealthy man. And there's a lot of women that would love to be with Kevin Hart, to set Kevin Hart up, to even have a baby with Kevin Hart. Because that's a lottery ticket. That's a lotto ticket within itself. Because all she have to do is have a baby. And regardless of what she do wrong, and regardless of what happens that Cause them to go in their own direction. She will get paid. Just for having that child. My advice to Kevin Hart is. Is keeper. It's cheaper to keep her. It is cheaper to keep your wife. Because you already paying out child support. And maybe some alimony. To your ex-wife. And now to add this one to your collection, and she's pregnant. Now, if she was devious, she could take you to court, bro. She would take you through the ringer. But she can't really complain because she knew what she had before she married him. So Kevin Hart being a cheater, he's not innocent. His wife that was the other woman, the mistress, the side piece. She's not innocent because she's, it's, it's the law of reciprocal action. What she put out is coming back to her. So you really can't feel sorry for her. The extortionist, well, it's a big game. She's doing what she do. You can't fault or blame her. Now, they keep running that, one video where he's sitting in the in the car, just talking, not doing anything wrong, just talking, right? But it looked like there was another person that was sitting in there along with him. But see, my question was, who was recording that video? And see, Kevin Hart should know better. He should know better because because of who he is and what he have, he has a target on his back. So he did the right thing by taking his power back. So since he took his power back, the extortionist got mad and decided to come forward and say, yeah, I was going to extort him because he's a cheater and I wanted everybody to know what kind of person he is. See, is that really her job, her responsibility? I want him to know. And the reason why he gave to the hurricane fund 
so that when those videos came out, it would make him look like a good guy. It would take the stress off of him. People would see him as a good guy. So she couldn't get him one way, so she tried to come another way. But see, Kevin should have known better than that. But see, in my mind, I'm thinking to myself, Kevin Hart and people like Kevin Hart that have a weakness for women, why not just become like Polite? You guys know who Polite is. He's the polygamist. He has many wives, multiple wives. So why not get into an agreement? And I don't believe in polygamy. Okay, but if you're going to cheat, especially if you're wealthy like that and you know that that temptation is out there and you put yourself in that situation where you can be tempted and you will fall prey to that, then you might as well either not be married or be in some type of agreement where, listen, this is how I am. I cheat. I love women. I just can't. I cannot be committed to one woman. I just want to let you know that. Now, I don't mind taking care of you. I don't mind, you know, keeping your hair, your nails done, all this other stuff. I don't mind doing that because I want what I want. See, I don't mind doing that. But if you're cool with that, if you're cool with just being a part of my harem, then let's just make this happen. Let's make it happen. And let the chips fall where they may. You know, that's just how I am. I can't, I can't remain faithful. So, you know, I don't mind, you know, having you as a side piece. I don't mind that. But just be loyal to me. <laughs> now, I know some women are going to have problems with that, right? So, I mean, Floyd Mayweather. This brother always had women around him, man. This dude has got women around him. Um, it would not be wise for Floyd Mayweather to be married. Unless, of course, his wife understands that he's the kind of guy that have to have women around him. And I, I, I made a comment on, on Facebook. And I said that women, in my opinion, make the better bodyguard. I think if I ever become famous, or wealthy, and I need, you know, an entourage or I need some bodyguards, may have a couple of dudes there, but for the most part, I want women as my bodyguards because women are more vicious as a bodyguard than a man is. Now, you got people that would underestimate a woman and Talk about how weaker a woman is than a man, but a woman is pretty strong. And I'm not just talking about black women. Black women are more aggressive and more violent. But when it comes to a woman's scorn, there's nothing like it. A man can't compete with that. If you think back on that movie, Half Baked, and my man in there, when when, when uh, Dave Chappelle went in there, was talking to Link. Remember Link from the Mod Squad? Link had women bodyguards. And he told him, he told the women, he said, bring me 814. And my man was like, 814, what is that? Next thing you know, these women came out with that sword. Or no, with a uh, crossbow. And they end up having to fight these women off. Do you know what it's like being attacked by a bunch of women? Right? So women are vicious. Women are vicious, and I think that if I ever became famous, I'd want to have women as my bodyguards. Because women, in that respect, I believe are stronger than men. Men have that physical brute strength, but women are quick, man. Listen, I've seen dudes get slapped by women so fast. <laughs> dudes be sitting there trying to explain. Next thing you know, pop, and his eyes are going up in his head because he's trying to figure out what happened. Right? He's trying to figure out what happened. How did you hit me that fast? Why didn't I see that slap coming? Right? And this is a little off the topic. And you know what? I was thinking about doing a live stream, but I have to figure out how the live stream thing works. And then after I figure that out, 
that I'm going to start doing live streams on the Fearless J1111 on YouTube. Okay, so if you guys are not subscribed to Fearless J1111, subscribe because that's where my live streams will be. I just have to figure out how to encode that and how to work that. So, but anyway, yeah, women make the best bodyguards, man. Listen, I, I, I recommend women. Listen, if you got like a Ronda Rousey and Layla Ali, somebody who's trained in combat uh, fighting, you know, in, in, in mixed martial arts or boxing or something like that, man, them women are deadly. Them women can be extremely deadly, man, in anger. Because they outthink, man, man. They outthink us a whole lot, man. I'm not saying all the time, but... And you got dudes that may say, like, well, if women are so smart, why do they allow themselves to get stuck with, you know, 15 baby daddies, for example, right? You know, they have their weaknesses, just like men have their weakness, all right? But for the most part, if it comes to, if it comes down to, if I need bodyguards, right, I would rather have women around me because women in many cases are more loyal than men. See, you got some crooks out there, but when it comes to women, listen, I would have women any day around me as my, my entourage or my bodyguards because they would take care of you. Now, there's some that there's a lot that will set you up. So you have to know what you're getting. All right. But for the most part, man, women, they will be loyal, man, especially if you if you're their breadwinner, you taking care of them. They ain't got to do nothing but look good and watch your back. You don't think they're going to protect what's theirs. And listen, I ain't even get into that, man. But anyway, because Floyd, man, look like a pimp and he sounds like a pimp sometimes. Right. Listen to Floyd talk, man. He sounds just like a pimp. And he's got that gentleman club. Every now, every now and then he'll say strip club. And he say, I mean gentleman club. Floyd sounds like a pimp. Right? But he's got a lot of women around him, man. And trust me. If anybody were to cross Floyd, I'm, I'm sure that them females will look out for uh, Floyd Mayweather. He ain't got to lift his hands. And just because a dude got women bodyguards don't mean they weak. They just being smart. But anyway, back to the topic, right? So he should be like polite and make some type of arrangement, man, where he's got the women he see. Like, look, polite is smooth. And I give polite credit, man. Polite is a smooth brother, man. He's a smooth brother. And he would, and he tell these women like, look, hey, yo, you can come live with us, man. You know, and he start kicking that knowledge on him. And I'm going to tell you, when you have knowledge like that, man, women are attracted to dudes, man, that's got some head, got, got, uh, got some head game. <laughs> and I ain't just talking about in a sexual manner. If you, if you're a good talker, man, even if you don't know nothing and you got confidence in yourself, man, and you got some type of game, listen, women will love you. You ever wonder why, you know, these ugly dudes, man, these fat out of shape dudes, these broke dudes be getting these nice women, they got game. They know how to talk, right? But again, back to the back to the topic at hand. I think when it comes to Kevin Hart, man, yo, bro, you need to make arrangements that if you with a chick, man, even if it's your wife, she have to understand and put that in writing if you have to. Like, look, this is how I am. I love you. You're my main girl. The mother chicks are just side pieces, you know. Um, when I come home, I come home to you. I take good care of you and I take good care of my kids. You know, if it's okay with you, if, if you, if you cool with that, man, it's like, look, let's, let's, let's just not destroy what we have here. Right. Because at one time you was a side piece too. Right. So you know how I roll, but I'm coming home to you and I'm telling Kevin Hart, yo, bro, is cheaper to keep her. It's cheaper to keep her. And for his wife, by you being there, you have access to everything he has. Unless, of course, he's got some stuff, you know, stashed away in an offshore account, you know, because I'm sure Kevin Hart's not that dumb, although he made a dumb mistake, you know. But and she's bad. She's sexy. Right. And if Ke if Kevin Hart is laying, if his if his pipe game is cool, she ain't going nowhere. Because she's getting good loving at home and he's taking care of her. 
And I almost guarantee you his ex-wife wished she was still there. Yeah, she may be getting some money for child support or maybe spouse support. She's on her own, but it was much better because she was in the limelight when she was with Kevin Hart in the past. You know, so I, I just I just think that when it comes down to this, man, nobody is the victim here. It's a game that's played often. I don't even know why it's considered news. This should not be news. Why is it a big thing? Because Kevin Hart is Kevin Hart. And Kevin Hart, of all people, should know that there is a target on your back just because you're, you're Kevin Hart. Look at the YouTubers, the big YouTube channels that don't even have a drop in the bucket compared to what Kevin Hart and other celebrities have. And look at how people are coming at them, trying to set them up. So you have to be wise as a serpent and harmless as a dove. Nobody is innocent when it comes down to this. It's a game that they play in Hollywood. Kevin Hart, his now wife, and the extortionists, they're all playing a game. It's a game. And people just have to understand that and not allow your emotions to get involved. Right? So feedback, tell me what you think. I'm going to do a live stream on this as soon as I figure out how to work this out. And on the Fearless J1111, this is the channel I will be doing the live streaming on. Okay, I just have to figure out, you know, how this whole thing works, you know, on YouTube because I never really did a live streaming on YouTube. All right. Uh, feedback, subscribe, and that link on the bottom, the PayPal link. Uh, if you feel free to uh, donate to this channel, feel free to do so. Until next time, I'm fearless.